If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Beef Chief here and we're back with some more insane team of the week investments that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. So team of the week investments are something we do every single week because it's basically just free coins. So we're going to go over why this works, what team of the weeks to buy, when to buy them and when to sell all of that. So as we're jumping in here is if you guys would please just drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. So what we're going to be looking at first off is why team of the week investments work. And I'm just going to run through some of the team of the weeks in this team of the week. So team of the week investments work because obviously these cards are only in packs for one week from Wednesday they go in to the Wednesday they go out. So they only get one week of supply. But the thing is with these team of the weeks, a lot of times they just get deleted off the game because these team of the weeks are used in SPCs. And once a card gets put in an SPC, it is gone. So the thing is, you get that limited supply, and then you just start getting lower and lower and lower supply because these cards disappear off the game, but the demand stays there for these cards. So they naturally just rise out of packs with content we get, and just over time when there becomes less and less of them on the market. So let's kind of talk about this team of the week, cards I like, and when to buy them. So in this team of the week, what we're typically looking at is fodder team of the week cards. So in, to run through just a couple that I love, the two big ones that I think are going to do great this week, PK here, 86 rated Spanish La Liga center back, and Aspas here, 87 rated La Liga Spanish striker. And the way we basically deduct that is you go to the Footbin Cheapest by Players section here, the team of the weeks, and you can see PK is already basically the cheapest 86 team of the week. He gets amazing links. He's going to be great for SBCs. And then Aspas is the cheapest 87 rated team of the week. And I'm recording this on Thursday. And the buy time for these is going to be Saturday. So the prices are going to go even lower on these cards. The reason for that being when we get headliners team two, you're going to get lightning rounds on Friday and lightning rounds on Saturday, which is basically just a ton of packs put in the store from EA. So these prices are going to go super, super low. So we're getting marquee matchup supply, lightning rounds Friday, lightning rounds Saturday. And then the thing that's also going to happen is you're going to get the pack compensation from when EA messed up with the headliners Ramsdale. So these cards are going to go super, super low. This PK, this Aspas, uh, another card would be this Schmeichel here who's in this team of the week. These cards are going to go to dirt cheap when that pack compensation comes alongside all this other supply. So the buy time is typically going to be Saturday after lightning rounds on these cards. But the one thing we have to take into account this week is whenever EA give back their everyone's packs from when they messed up the whole Ramsdale thing. So a full list of the cards that are going to look good here. So Aspas and PK are the two big ones. PK being my favorite this week. Uh, then the next ones I like Schmeichel as another 86 is going to be great. And then a couple that are like close to discard that are going to be good. Pau Torres is going to be amazing. Jao Matinho is going to be a good one. And then on top of that, this Januzaj, if you can get him for discard, will be good. But the, the massive one is going to be PK here. I think he's going to do great. But again, it's all about buying at the right time. So why exactly do we do this? How exactly does it work? So if we go select a card here, let's go pick just like Benucci is very similar to PK in terms of their price. So if we look here, he comes into packs here and you can see... His low point right when he comes out is this Saturday Sunday area. Right here, he's about 18 and a half thousand coins. Quickly out of packs, he rises to about 21 and a half thousand and then drops down a little bit with no content here and then slowly just rises back up, hit about 24k here. And then recently, this drop is just because they released that pack that had all the team of the weeks in it. But we don't really expect that to come again, but you never know with EA. So basically, the buy price for these is always going to be on that Saturday slash early Sunday that these cards are in packs. And you'll see this kind of trend with basically every team of the week. You can see he quickly drops down this Saturday, Sunday right here, and then just rises, rises, rises. And again, this is just from that pack they released that had all those team of the weeks in it, this drop right here. That is not something you can expect to really happen again, I would say. But 
you never know with them they might throw some old team of the weeks into packs again it's ea so buying happens after the lightning round saturday trying to bid and snipe on those for cheap or early sunday with you know foot champs rewards and again all that pack supply now selling is where basically you just need to keep up to date with the game these cards are slowly going to rise out of packs no matter what content we get just because again there's no supply of them but they're either in people's clubs or they're going to be getting used in sbcs so they're just less and less of them on the market but the big times they're going to rise is if we get something like a mid icon here that requires some team of the weeks you know two team of the weeks required here we get a party bag the last party bag required that you submit two team of the week cards so that made the team of the weeks go up as well um if we go to this 84 plus player pick this requires a team of the week so something like that Jao matinho would have risen very very well if he was already out of packs here and this 84 plus player pick was out and i'd like to look at an example of that for you guys as well like an 83 team of the week um we look at an 82 here because i believe this guy is going to be a good example here all right so if we go look at this saiz card right here right now he's about fourteen thousand coins you can see here he typically chilled around like literally ten thousand coins after he was in packs that sunday saturday area because he was literally discard price and then he rises up to fourteen thousand coins with that 84 plus player pick because it's an 83 rated squad with a team of the week so an 82 team of the week gains 4,000 coins in value from that as you can see there so that's kind of the idea with these team of the weeks is you're just going to club stock them until we get some type of content that makes them a skyrocket or just club stock them until they slowly rise because that's just what team of the weeks do because you're not getting any more of them on the market so again these team of the weeks as well a point in these is that these can be a relatively long hold in your club they they're not going to be something that it's like oh i'm going to grab this i'm going to sell it four days later for profit typically these are going to take a bit to rise i pretty much always have team of the weeks in my club that i'm just holding on to just because they're good things to hold on to they're not really going to drop in value all that much unless again we get some crazy pack that just throws every team of the week into packs like that token pack we got so you can see here i picked these up i actually have a size here that i picked up for 11k should have sold him earlier but i'll list him up for 14 and you can see if you just pick these guys up at the right price that means i picked up 12 and a half k i'd imagine he's dropped here but i'm gonna take a look at his price bada bing let me type in mings to footpin here and yeah just like club stocking these guys he's 17 and a half k now so i'm actually gonna go ahead and list him up for that profit he's gone up 5k and you can just see how simple it is to store these guys in your club and just forget about it if you have a bunch of coins this romero also 17 and a half k we're gonna make 5k on that card as well so again you just sit here you forget about these cards and all of a sudden you're making big coins i got three more here we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these and kind of see what their prices are and this is just something that's so simple and the reason i want to jump into that hoffman i'm going to sell as well the reason we're picking up like for example pk is he gets amazing links and he's 86 rated that's what we're looking for is cards that get good links and are like cheapest in their rating and pk again is already like the cheapest 86 team of the weekend form and this guy has so much time to drop he he's literally been in packs for less than a day when i'm recording this and we haven't had any pack supply so it's unreal this price here and he's going to plummet in price now the only thing to keep in mind with this team of the week that could be different is again with that aaron ramsdale pack compensation that's coming these guys are going to get a ton of supply and they could take longer to rise in price than your typical team of the week that we've seen so that's something to keep in mind as well is when you get an abnormal amount of supply of these cards this guy's 17k w when you get an abnormal amount of supply of these cards again there's more and more of them on the market it's going to take longer for them to rise but they will still rise you just need to make sure you're buying at the correct point so this racket stitch is only 14 and again that's because he just doesn't get as good of links as for example like that ming's card so that's why we're looking at those guys that get um that just get better links now he's 14 he's 14 so i'm looking at profit on these but i'm gonna hold on to them until we get something like another player pick or another party bag or something like that it's not always about that instant profit with these team of the weeks it's about holding them until the right point and as long as you're buying at the right time again you're just not going to lose coins on these cards because there's always going to be that demand for team of the weeks and they are only in packs for that one week 
So it really is free coins here, boys. I would definitely check that out. Again, the list of cards that I like the look of, uh, Schmeichel, Iago Aspas, PK is the massive one. Pau Torres is a great one as well. And then that Jao Matinho close to like 11K if you can pick him up. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.